So let's look at how to customize your player menu in Storyline. We're going to come up to the Home tab and then click the Player button, and that's going to bring up the Player Properties Manager. And on the Features section, we just want to select the menu item and make sure that this checkbox is marked, and it is. And of course, you can use these little blue arrows down here at the bottom to move that menu to a different place on the player if you want to. And then to customize your menu options, you just come up here and click the Menu button at the top. And on this screen, the box at the left is where you can make your customizations. And this preview area over here at the right is what's going to change as you modify things. And one thing that you can do here is change a scene title or a slide title. And these titles are going to come from whatever titles you've assigned your slides and scenes in normal view or story view. But what you can do is double click on any of the item to change what the text says. And once you make your change, you just hit enter or click away, and then that change takes effect. But this only affects the menu. It's not going to change anything on your slide, and the titles that you see in uh, normal view and story view are still going to be the same too. You can also rearrange things. You just click an item and then use these little blue buttons down here at the bottom to move things up or down, or you can also uh, change the indentation if you want to do that. And again, this is not going to change the order in which learners see your content. That depends on the triggers that you set up at the slide level that allow learners to navigate. The changes that you make here are only going to affect the visual appearance of the menu. Now, if any of your menu items have indented items below them, like this one right here, there's going to be this little arrow or triangle that learners can use to condense or expand the level. And if you want these to automatically collapse, when the learner moves out of that section, what you can do is click on the gear icon down here at the bottom and then choose Auto Collapse Menu as learner progresses. And also, if you want a section to show as condensed rather than expanded, when the course launches, you can click the triangle here to condense a section and then it's going to stay condensed. So this is how it would look in the published output too until the learner clicks to expand it or you know until they get to any of the slides within that section. Now what about hiding slides from appearing in the menu? You can do that too by selecting a title and then hitting this little red X down here at the bottom. That's not going to remove the slider scene from your course. It just means it won't show up as a menu item. Now if you change your mind about that, there's two ways you can revert back. One way is to click this little folder and then you can go through your list of slides here and choose whichever slide you want to reinstate. So I think it was that one right there. And then you can click insert and now it's back again. Or another way is you can click this button here called Reset from Story. That's going to restore everything in your course to what it was before you made any changes. So in your menu, you'll then see all the original titles, all the original indentation, everything, all the slides and scenes are going to show up. Um, another cool thing is you can add your own items to the menu. You can click on this little heading right here and then type whatever text you want to use for your heading and then click away or hit enter and now that's going to be part of your menu and of course you can move it up or down just like you could you know any other menu item or indent it if you want to and of course there's no slide associated with that item so you know if storyline displays an item like that when the learner clicks on it the learner is actually going to see the next slide in the menu that would appear now one thing i wanted to mention about question banks if you have used a question bank in your course and i've got a course open right here that uses a question bank and this is the player for it. Um, the question bank is going to show up as a single slide in the menu like this with whatever title you've given it. If you want to list all the titles of each question slide from that bank, what you can do is click on this gear icon and then select show slide draw contents. Okay. Now a few other items to check out here. Let's go back to this gear icon at the bottom and open that window back up. A few things here. This navigation restriction part, this is all about how you want to let your learners navigate with the menu. You can select free, which means learners can click the menu to jump anywhere they want, or restricted means they can't click the menu to jump slides ahead of where they are, but they can jump to slides they've already viewed. And locked means they can only view the slides in the order that you've designed. They can't click to you know the menu to jump anywhere else ahead of where they are or to the slides that they've already seen. Okay, and if you also have really long slide titles in your menu, you might want to use this option to wrap long menu items because otherwise the text will get truncated if it's too long to fit in the menu width. Another thing you can do is to add this tool tip that will appear if learners you know, hover over the menu item. That's kind of nice. Um, we already covered auto collapse, and then this one allows you to automatically number the items in your menu. So that's a little bit about how to customize your player menu in Articulate Storyline.